So, where we left off, we are now part of Story Team. So, let's hop right back into this. And hopefully, the, the, the audio will get cut out the last five minutes off. Like, I'll, I'll be sure that doesn't happen. New wave. The training was pretty harsh, but I'd made more than a few irreplaceable friends there. Immediately following graduation, Captain Seville approved my assignment to the newly formed KLF Special Mobile Unit called the Sawyer Team. Now that I'm a soldier, I'm gonna have to take things seriously. Because one small slip up by me could mean the death of one of my teammates. Even so, I was the champion of the New Wave Graduation Tournament. The only funny thing about this, in Come on, moment, Sumner. Believe in yourself. Graduation, it instantly makes okay. it seem like he's gone from the three of Let's them. Let's do this. Cookie, Jillian, and Steven make it seem like they're gone. Like, okay, they're gone. Abs obsolete. Now we're in a new episode. We need to skip this because y'all seen it. So, episode two, y'all. Let's do it. Green Boy Blue. Huh? What's this? Hey, the kitty room's down the hall, all right? <laughs> no. Kitty room. I'm joining Sawyer team starting today. The name's Sumner Sturgeon. Huh? You heard anything about this, hey, Pess? Yeah, they look high. They yeah, <laughs> he starts today. You knew about this. Hey, I'm Pez. Hey there, I'm Pez. I'm Sumner. So How do you do? Great. This here is Sean. Whatever. Hey, Sean. Ah, just having some fun with him. That's just how he is. Don't let him bug you. I like Pez. <laughs> Lay back, cool it's guy. It's a pleasure. Is everyone here? Yes, sir, we are here. I know it's early, but Sawyer team has been assigned to guard a critical mine shaft at Digger, an LFO excavation chief. site. Like, I know it's early. Oh, I'm curious. I wake up like oh, Is it because that bandit so. gang's been attacking the early. LFO excavations so much lately? That's part of it. We're also stepping up current defenses while they do a live test of the military's brand new excavator machine. A new excavator? That's right. The military's been working on a new high output LFO excavator for the last two years. It's been a very tightly held secret. They're testing while thieves are trying to steal it? Isn't that dangerous? Well, the test isn't being run for the thieves' benefit. It was secretly planned quite a long time before all the trouble began. Furthermore, all on-site mission command will be handled exclusively by the SOF. Whoa, whoa, the SOF. The SOF is the special forces team that introduced LFOs to the military, right? Their captain is the legendary lifter named Holland. Right. However, we don't know what will happen at the mission site, so don't rely on the SOF too much, all right? <laughs> Ergo, don't get happy. Mission starts tomorrow at 0900 hours. You'll all spend today fine-tuning your KLFs. Be ready for tomorrow's mission. Yes, sir! 0900 hours. Do I look like a person who want to be up in the morning? <laughs> Uh, sorry guys, hold on. Uh, ah, please stop. So yeah, hey, here we go again with the dialogue, and I really don't see the need to talk, cause they got a voice, but uh, right now, all of, uh, I'm basically saying when he show up, I'm gonna basically tell you everything that's happening in a nutshell. In a nutshell, they're basically, you know, introducing the new guy to how they run things. That's basically the whole premise. Like, we're about to. We're, we're gonna fit you into how we run things in our little clique here. Since you're part of Sawyer Team. So basically saying, you know, pick on the new guy type of stuff. <clears throat> oh, look, it's Hookie again. <laughs> Trust me, they're, they're not absolutely sick. Like, oh boy, I'll graduate. I'm part of Sawyer Team now. I need guns. I need a million. Coins. Oh, 
close. In a million. And I gotta be a rank 13? That sucks. Well, we gotta be sure to fix that immediately. The TR505. Yeah, we have, you know, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hookie, how's it going? Oh, Hookie, the recession in the trailer pretty hot. I know, right? The recession, she's hot. She's beautiful. Gorgeous. So, uh, yeah, if you want to talk to her, have fun with that. Yeah, I'm leaving. You have you have fun with her. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Yeah, Mr. Fastly Womanizer. Cause you, you womanize. You all about women, but you can't talk to them. <laughs> uh, my eyes twitchy. Why? Uh. So basically here in the scene, he, he's getting introduced to the, the LFOs we're going to be using, the Type R505. Yeah, basically saying, yeah, basically, basically this whole premise is here, just basically saying how badass our LFOs are. Granted, the SOF, you know, they're, they're the highs of the high. So now we're going to meet our maintenance chief, Old Man Doty. This, now you probably want this is my Type R505. This is my LFO. Now they're talking. Stupid. Wait for it. See, now I no more talking. See, I don't see the point of narrating if they're talking. But yeah, basically saying, uh, yeah, that's the old man Doherty. He's the maintenance chief. And if you're wondering why his LFO is white, it's because they basically said, screw it. Because he was supposed to paint his, I think he was like the prototype. So they just tacked his on with the other two. And just said, no worry, we just revamped the prototype of the TR and then just left it the way it was. Which is a good thing in a sense because, uh, you know, you get to feel like your stuff is special and customized to you specifically. Which is basically what they were going for. Wait for it, hold on. That's the question. Yeah. You see some kind of bad boy. Well, of course. That guy's stupid though. I joined the LFO just. So yeah, right here. Why are the color different? I want to think it would be difficult that your assignment what time was rushed, so they didn't have time to do all that extra stuff. It was meant to be spare parts, but instead they revamped it and made it a, a TR505. So, yeah, that's, all, that's the whole premise of that one. I really love this game, though. I really love it because it, it, it played a a, please, it played a major role when uh, me and my friend, a friend of mine, we were playing it. it. It played a huge role when I was getting into, hugely getting into video games. And then I checked out the anime, loved it. Haven't checked out the quote-unquote sequel of it yet. Haven't had the time. Uh, so now, What's gonna happen here? Me and him are actually gonna go head to head because I'm the champion, but I'm the Sawyer team now, so me being a champion may not mean nothing. So, you wanna test me in a mock battle. In the comments below, tell me, tell me your opinions about the, the characters, how you feel about them. I already know what's going on with them. I want to uh, hear you guys' opinion about them. Sean, take it easy. Sumner, you ready? Oh, I'm okay. Ready. Let's go already, Pez. Hey, Sean, don't rush. Don't rush your ass, woman. Right. This is one on one. Think of this as real combat. Oh, it's real combat. No already. mercy, huh? Hey, champion, you prepared for this? Oh, I'm prepared for this. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready, ready. Let's go. Alright, got, got to make sure I know the controls. I both They actually oh, hit me. Hell. They actually hit me! Yep, I'm gonna hit you again. 
Sean's as childish as ever. Huh. This will knock most of these guys out. Keep moving. That hurt! Ah! Alright! I really suck today. Don't look out. Forget it. I'm out. Yeah, you out, alright, you lost. Got my ass off. Oh, so close to one of the one million. <gasps> oh, number 13, though. So that's one problem solved. We just gotta get some money. Okay. How about for today we do things like this? Whoa! Hey, watch it! What's the big idea? Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. The thing just exploded. Hey, I better get that fixed before tomorrow's sortie. Okay, see you later. Sorry about that, Sumner. That's nothing new for him. But the fact you dodged that attack means you passed the test. Does he always act Ooh, like that? Again. I know it's not exactly what they teach you in school, but Wait, his what? motto is basically anything goes in a fight. That's just not right. To which he'd answer, why? This is a battlefield. Battlefield. Which means he's not right. wrong, he's not right either. He's just being a realist. It doesn't matter how, what did you learn in school? It doesn't matter that my, my friend was going easy on me, or when I got shot, he held me up. No, when we get out there, it's every man for himself. Granted, we on teams, but case in point, kill or be killed. Now the game. That's why I gave Sean credit. Like, Sean, he's a realist. Give him his props, his props. And it's our friend Hookie checking in on us, saying how we're doing. And then and y'all probably wondering why I'm not like skipping it and like giving y'all a, a synopsis. Well, basically because some of y'all might want to read it. That's why I'm just letting it play as is. But that also said, um, basically the quick synopsis is just you know Cookie just coming and check up on Sumner because you know he's part of Sawyer team now. Business. Beating them up. We all know that feeling. Just yeah, yeah, new environment, and we're exhausted on the first day. Just ugh. That's like school. I know, right? Just ugh. Your first day is always the worst. Oh, well, sometimes good, but it's usually the worst. <laughs> like your first day is always supposed to, like the first week is supposed to be the hardest. That thing is supposed to slow down, and get used to it. Sumner, did you sleep well last night? Morning, Pez. Yeah, I got enough. Hey, don't be too nervous. Just follow Captain Seville's commands and you'll be fine. We're expecting a real fight today, so try not to trip us up, all right? Yes, sir. Great. Let's move out. Hey, newbie, shake a leg. I think it'd be actually real cool. Like, if we actually had stuff like this in the real military, I think it'd be really cool, but also dangerous because, like... If, if, if a government was ballsy enough, we we would not be able to tell. It'd be basically Transformers, basically. Just nothing but Transformer going on in this, in this neighborhood. sightings of uh, bandits attacking the excavation so we're basically trying to get a, get things situated with rescue search and rescue and basically containing the situation while knocking out the bandits I hope 
hope y'all were paying attention, because I have to do stupid stuff. You can honestly tell which John's personality is. He's the person who tried to uh, press buttons on purpose. Anyway, the ground defenses are full of holes, right? Man, these guys are terrible! That's nothing new. Everyone knows their security sucks. We're really going down deep, aren't we? I think we're almost there. Y'all ready? Now things are gonna start happening. Sumner here. We've reached the bottom level. And like I said, this, this is more of an anime, even though there is what do you game, think, it's Sumner? more of an anime. We're here to watch. Amazing, huh? Yeah, incredible. It's hard to believe all this is underground. Quit sightseeing out there and look sharp. There's work to do. Sumner, get to the underground headquarters. Roger. See, like I said, it's just like an anime. We're going to do like multiple intermissions before something actually happens. This summer, around right the headquarters. Getting our data. Uh, the new the new technology with excavating the little test that they're doing um, he gave us a warning that uh things are actually happening to the tunnel so we have to be careful so we got terrain data so we're gonna be heading out and like I said y'all can read this for y'all sales I'm just giving y'all a quick synopsis of what, oh, what's happening because some of y'all looking like well oh, reading yeah I don't like to read well, I'm in the same boat. I don't like to read either. Like it's very so often I read. It had to be something so interesting. This tunnel. This is SOF Captain Holland. I'm in charge of this site today. We're going to be testing the prototype excavator in ground area B. If you're still underground, evacuate to ground area A at once. That is all. Perfect, man. Time to go. Captain Seville, we just found traces of the bandit gang hiding here. Oh. I think our investigation has priority. Ask the SOF to postpone their test. Captain Holland has jurisdiction here. There's no time. Follow your orders. No. I can't ignore this information. Sawyer team, your orders are to stand by in a giant cave. Captain Holland, but... Understood. Roger that. Three from Sawyer team, converge at the giant cave. Roger! The passage up ahead caved in and sealed itself! We've got a bunch of workers trapped in there! Please! You gotta help us! Now remember, this is more of an anime than anything, so it's gonna be more watching than playing. So like I said, the bandits are going ham on whatever they're trying to do. So now 
now we lost contact with Pez, which is a very uh, ominous sight and very concerning. so that they would attack while I was drawn away. Damn it. Gears? They're the bandit gang that's been hitting all the LFO excavation sites around here. The giant cave's been occupied by the bandits? I need a situation report. Roger. The remaining staff have apparently been locked inside of a large materials container. How many targets do you have? I count two LFOs from where I am. All right. You two start your attack and secure that container. We're, we're on it. it. Me and Sean, we're doing it. Okay, let's go to the town. Don't hit the container with the hostages. Duh. Let's start this battle! And trust Roger! Me, I've tried if it's possible. Careful, your enemy can't, your friends can friendly fire you that can actually kill you. Oh well. So, yeah. Okay then, let's go have ourselves a look around. Gotcha. Hey Sumner, there still may be enemy around, so be careful. I really do enjoy this game though. I think it's like one of the type of games you can really like sit and get a kick out of enjoying it, let alone playing it. And then it has replay value, constant replay value. Like, like it's just watching your favorite show. So that's what makes the game so easy. We gotta do this. Just keep still. Leaving Pez behind. 
last I checked, I thought it was government protocol to always try to, you know, no man left behind. Obviously, he's on something. Granted, you know, your so your fellow soldiers would be like, you know, yeah, go ahead, I'll find my own way out. Nah, screw that. That's not how human instinctively roll, especially in the army. We're all about saving our fellow men. Unless you're one of those types. So, as you can clearly see, we're about to go disobey orders, which can be very, very dangerous. wondering why was why the big giant save up to buy that well rather than telling you I can show you so let's get to that point first we'll have an elevator to come down this is close but we found an elevator to escape so we still gotta take engaging oh right gotta equip this Double laser or the twin heavy missiles. Alright, I'm gonna show you how these things are like. Long shift! Boink. One hit KOs. Damn! A direct hit! Aww. Just keep it. still! Battle over! One hit KOs. <laughs> The best weapon at the entire game. Basically, a quick synopsis: We're about to go bypass time to repair to repair his LFO as best he can, so we can escape. I still find it amazing how far we've come when it comes go! to graphics and technology, how things look now, 4K and all that. Which I don't really care about all that. This! You can just shoot them and get it done. I won't lie, I think it would be like, and I love like, you get to see inside the interior of the, the LFO. I think it'd be really, really cool to ride one of them. I think it'd be really cool. Ooh, I wonder if they got something in VR. They should have something in VR for this. Cause I saw like uh, LA Noir. Oh my God, like they fully implemented driving. We gotta do this. So amazing, they done that. Just keep still. But we gotta defend Pez. Miss that shot. Got like one down. So I don't Just keep that still.
quickest way to get S, by the way. Like, to get the highest rank, get that weapon, you would get S out the entire game. Literally. And it's not about if you get a, a, you miss an S in a certain section, your overall grade depicts it. So, get as many S as you can, even if you do screw up. It, it's not going to kill you. Sean! I made it to the surface! Sumner, where are you? Is Pez okay? Yeah, sorry about that. The LFO is pretty beat up. Thanks to Sumner, I'm just fine. Looks like we came out in Area B, on the opposite side from Command HQ. Hey, looks like you're okay, Sawyer team. Take a little rest here. Huh? The SOF. And I'll be that for leader. So, this is the power of the SOF. No, the power of Holland, the legendary rider. Incredible! White 505 on Sawyer team, give me some cover! Uh, Roger! Roger that, I can handle it. I got a big giant missile launcher that can one hit KO. These guys are a bandit gang called Gears. I figured. There are more of them than the SOF was led to believe. They even had a detachment. I think the guys inside have been wiped out. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from Nee's vaunted Sawyer team. Now we won't have to blow up the tunnels. Blow up? See, they were about to do something drastic. Now we're gonna do it. That's enough chit chatting. Concentrate, Whitey. That's it. <laughs> so easy. What is that? That's an armored land attack vehicle, which they used to use before we had airships. Damn the gears. They even have stuff like that. A giant tank. We've got a few tricks of our own. Get in there and slow them down. Right. Roger. I got this. I, I can slow them down. Probably with two shots. Use the prototype long-range laser. It's so unstable, we've only got one shot. Try not to miss. Just one section is all I ask. Clear out that armor! Roger! Got it. I got this. Damn! A direct hit! Trust me, on your first time, it, you're gonna hate that thing. Take on your that! Time, you're gonna hate it. That's you damn minis! How dare you do that here! Because your gun, battle, you won't have the, the correct armor, equipped or whatever, is mainly dodging. You get hit. Their leader, Jean, is it? a pretty good you LFO can. pilot. Watch out, because you never know where he's coming from with one of his tricks. Yeah, ain't worry about him. <laughs> tricks. Military boss! Learn to fear the might of gears! He's good. However... Yeah, however. Just keep still. I, I've seen better skill than all my own. Sir. No. Eat this! Ah! 
<laughs> is it over? Yes, it is. You're still learning, but you're already pretty good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I know I'm kind of ass. I swear, with that rocket, with that missile launcher, ass is just so easy to get. <laughs> Now, any of you can get an S without that weapon. Guys, this is well, Captain Hall. He's it's with the SOF. Hard, really hard. Thanks to you, our plan to eliminate Gears was a success. Plan to eliminate Gears? You mean the test of the new excavator was canceled? That was just a decoy to lure them out here. And a valuable opportunity to test some new KLF equipment, too. Hmm? We planted fake stories detailing various missions. Including our own mission today. Hold on a second. No one told me about this. Investigations have clearly shown that the military has internal leaks. Thanks to this, we were able to affect the arrest of the commanding general. No way. You mean that guy? The map data he the, gave you the, was compromised. The guy who gave you the map data. It kept the enemy updated on exactly where you were at all times. That explains why they always seem to be one step ahead of us. Who cares about the idiotic mole? Pez nearly got killed on this mission! Sean, stop it! Sumner, I could have you court-martialed right now for disobeying orders. However, See? since you helped the SOM and no one was victimized by your actions, I'm willing to let it slide this time. Thank you, sir. Go screw yourself. Cause Thank you very much. That's dickish. Damn it. So then. You're Sumner, huh? Uh, yes, Captain Holland. Well, I think that Commandant Nee got himself a real prize when he managed to get you assigned to Sawyer Team. What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Stay alive, okay? If you get killed, it might mean the end of both Sawyer Team and the SOF. Commandant Nee got himself a real prize when he managed to get you assigned to Sawyer Team. What do you mean, sir? <laughs> Stay alive, okay? If you get killed, it might mean the end of both Sawyer Team and the SOF. That must have been what Captain Holland was really talking about. Excuse me, sir. You had a pretty tough day. A lot of work for someone new. So, what do I you I heard need? the news regarding my father being outspoken against military LFO deployment. Hmm. You brought me in because my last name's Sturgeon. And not because I'm a good lifter, isn't that right? You brought me in to ensure that this unit isn't disbanded, didn't you? You were the top rider from New Wave. And I recognize your skill. That's why you're here. Is that the truth, sir? Don't push it. I understand. So if you're willing to push it, Sorry, then me, I'm obviously telling the truth. I completed my first mission in one piece. If I hadn't disobeyed Commandant Seville's orders, Pez might be dead right now. I want to stay with my team. No matter what, there's no way I could just abandon one of them to die. Because the only reason I got into Sawyer team 
was because of friends like Hookie and Steven and Jillian. As for my new friends, Sean and Pez, I felt the same way about them. I believe that what I did during the operation was the right thing to do. But that's the hard part about being in the military. You have to choose between being a dog or going to your morals. Either you leave a good soldier behind or follow captain's orders. It's hard. Real hard. Alright, everybody. That is the end of the... When they show a list of grades and give you an overall grade at the end of the episode, just so you all know. So, with that said, we would definitely call it off here because, you know, this is a good stopping point because considering the fact that uh, it's going on an hour and I don't want this... I definitely don't want that to be an hour long, but, you know, it is what it is. That's, that's the episode life, that's the whole life of it. It's basically, like I said, watching watching the show because you no know, commercials, we get some gameplay in it. So basically, you can say if I took out all of the gameplay and leave nothing but cutscene, it'd probably be a 30 minute show. So well, I really hope you all are enjoying me playing this. I really enjoy this game. And I really hope you all enjoy it too. And stay tuned. I will be uploading more stuff as soon as I can once I get myself back in schedule order. So apology if you see me or you see like a, a huge trend, a huge trend of me just playing Slay Away Camp because uh, that's basically like the easiest game I can do and upload immediately because you know stuff out here stuff out here just messes it up so with that said everybody thank you all for watching please continue to watch and i will definitely see all of you when the next moon rises